Ah. Although semi-fluent in Spanish, to help research the mysteries of Machu Picchu, Lee will need to use the services of a tour guide. Hola, como estas? Hello. Meanwhile, AJ will keep busy working the farm. When you're in a foreign country, I think it's very important to attempt to blend in with clothing, whatever you have to do to accept other cultures, and also to make an effort with the language. In my case, being semi-fluent in Spanish. Machu Picchu significa Cerro Viejo, Montaña Vieja. Ese es el significado. El del frente es ese. Y también tendríamos que explicarte. No, y se tiene una vista panorámica preciosa desde ahí, pero solamente si no está lloviendo se puede ir ahí arriba, ¿ya? Yeah. Ese es el significado, el del frente es este. Y también tendríamos que... Buenas. That's the guide we were going to get, we couldn't afford him. Y también tendríamos... Great Uncle Kenny claims he was with archaeologist Hiram Bingham when Marshu Pichu was discovered in 1911. At this stage, he was living, working and sleeping with the bulk of a Peruvian village for 13 months before they eventually kicked him out for being a freeloader. I've just been reading some entries from Uncle Kenny's lost diary and it's fascinating stuff, you know. By the time that Uncle Kenny left Cusco, he'd left Peru, he left behind him a trail of destruction. Um, a plethora of pregnant peasant Andean women and lifetime ban, as it happens from the archaeological wonder of the world, Machu Picchu. Um, very little is known of his whereabouts in, in the following years. Many people seem to think he embarked on a, a long period of soul searching and drinking. And um, the only two entries we have for 1923-24 are concealed by what can be best described as, uh, as crusty vomit. Although Lee's making a professional documentary on a tight schedule, he has time to stop and unselfishly offer advice to young aspiring filmmakers. Now, this is interesting. Here we have some um, llama poos or yama poos, could be alpaca poos actually. And what's interesting about this is that you can actually, you can pick it up. It comes in beads or pallet form. So if you're doing a documentary like we are, it's the best kind of poos to be working with because you can show it to the camera, to the viewer, without really getting it on your fingers. After the break, we take a